well, first, Dave, just you know, we know you have Caleb Ferguson, who is going to be the opener. But what is the plan following him? Is it going to be a true bullpen, or do you have someone to take the bullpen in? Uh, it, it's going to be a, a bullpen day. Uh, Fergie's going to start. Um, and then um, uh, we, we've got uh, Ryan Pepio here. Uh, he's the uh, 27th man. Um, Ryan Hudson is here uh, in, in replacing Tony Gonsolin, who we IL. So, uh, you know, the game will play out. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to play out as far as uh, deploying those guys. Quickly focusing on Tony, when we spoke to him last night, he did say that it's something dealing or surrounding his elbow. Uh, have you received any, have you learned any more information in the last, I guess, 12 hours per se, or is there anything you can kind of just add as to what he is dealing with right now? Um, yeah, you know, it, it's uh, obviously, uh, as I said, we're going to IL him. It's something that he's been dealing with for quite some time. Um, he's going to get a scan sometime this week. Um, you know, I think for me is I'm really impressed that, uh, you know, he continued to go, wanted to take the baseball. Uh, it, it was symptomatic. You know, so I think that all pitchers have something going on with their arms or elbows, uh, you know, with the mileage. Uh, but we are all aligned in, as far as, you know, it made sense for us to continue to uh, give him the baseball. And um, But right now we just feel where we're at. Um, the IL is the best course of action. And beyond that, I think that scan, once he gets a scan, will, will be more telling. How do you anticipate filling his spot in the rotation? Is Pepio a candidate for that? Uh, Ryan is a candidate. Um, so obviously uh, he is a candidate. Uh, we'll see how today goes. But, you know, with Ryan, um, you know, depending on what we want to do with Yarborough, um, obviously Gavin Stone's in the mix. So, yeah, we'll see. Hey, do you believe Tony felt compelled to keep going out there considering where you guys were with the number of injuries to your staff and how much do you appreciate that? A, a, a lot. Um, I, I think that um, where we were at at that point in time, and it's been you know six weeks, something like that, where he hasn't felt great. Um, and so I do commend him uh, wholeheartedly, I, I think. He's continued to gain the respect of the guys in the clubhouse and uh, never made an excuse. Um, but this is something that it's still symptomatic. I mean, was it pain free? Probably not. But I know as an organization, we were very clear in saying and knowing that you're not going to hurt yourself worse. And um, we're not going to try to do that to the players. So we're all aligned and felt good about that. So, But I do commend Tony, yes. Do, do you envision this being more than two weeks for him? I do. I do. Um, um, yes. How, much, how, how do you sort of separate like, some of the struggles of being part of the injury versus some concerning stuff going forward, sort of like stuff you have to actually correct? Um, I think uh, it's a combo like most things. Uh, I actually thought last night, I thought the stuff was pretty decent, um, but it just seemed to, you know, the ball seemed to go, go out of the ballpark. Um, but I do think that there's something probably with the mechanics that at, over time gets changed and manipulated. Um, so I, I don't know, I don't think it's a really clear answer, but I think all of it has led to <clears throat> the inflated ERN performance. Dave, the, with the scan like coming later in the week, we'll, we'll know more. But what is the injury like today? Like putting him on? Is it just elbow? Elbow. Um, yeah, it, it's 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 elbow. Um, and I don't want to kind of go too far into it because I don't want to lead you guys astray. But it, it, it's his right elbow and. You know, once we get that scan, it'll be really clear. With Pepio back and you mentioned Gavin Stone, have you guys found the value of Yarborough being that swing guy and being kind of that utility pitcher and the value of that? Is that the hesitation to maybe just put him in the rotation? That's the hesitation. And, and, I, and I say that as a compliment to Ryan um, Yarborough in the sense of obviously acquiring him um, protected us against downside, something like this. Um, but as we've seen, his ability to pitch a couple times a week 
um, and shorten games, save the pen, that's proved valuable. So you could argue that versus uh, pitching them every fifth or sixth day. So uh, right now we don't have that decision to make. Uh, he's available to pitch today. Um, and then at that point in time, we'll look out into next week. How long do you think Tony will be out? Have you pitched anything down? Is he going to no. be back this year? I said more than two weeks. You expect him back this year? It's unlikely. So you're shutting him down for No. David, do you ever, I don't know if you can answer this question, have you, this year, did you ever consider a change at backup catcher? Um, <clears throat> um, it's not, uh, first of all, it's not my call. Um, I think as an organization, um, you know, you're always trying to, you know, improve your ball club. I, I, I do believe, though, that uh, with Austin, um, what he's done for the organization, the success that uh, he's had, um, you know, on both sides of the baseball, the impact with the pitching staff. Um, I think it's more than just a triple slash, um, and uh, it's been a trying year, as he as he said. Um, but I think for us, we're very bullish on betting on uh, the person, uh, the player, the track record, and so to say that the organization didn't think that, you know. You could potentially upgrade in, in all positions, and this is specific to the catcher position. Um, I think that that would be um, we, the organization wouldn't be doing their their jobs if they're not always trying to upgrade in whatever position. Um, but at the end of the day, um, you know, we just believe in what Austin has done and can do for our ball club and our organization. Given the situation with Tony and what he did last year, how disappointing is it for both Tony and for you guys that he wasn't able to build on that? Um, very disappointing. Uh, you know, coming off an all-star season, uh, you have certain expectations uh, from the organization, from the player, um, and for not for it not to you know play out as such, it's it's disappointing. Um, but some things are out of your control. Uh, in this case, it's a, it's an injury. Um, but like I said, I, I really applaud him for not for not running from it and um, you know picking us up you know through the last six weeks when you know our starting staff was a little in flux at that point in time. How's Jason feeling today? Sore. Um, it's a little glute. It's a little hip. It's a little hamstring. So um, he's sore. Could have posted today. Um, but I just think it's best um, that uh, we give him shoot the next three days off, you know, so to hopefully get him, you know, back to health um, on Tuesday. Since we were talking about starting death, uh, Mike Gross held with on the IL the next couple days. How, what's he even doing right now? Uh, honestly, I I'm not sure where he's at um, in his uh, progression. I don't know. Did Joe start with his bullpen? Oh, do you have your rotation mapped out for the Cleveland? Um, yeah. Bobby's pitching on Tuesday. Uh, Clay's going to go Wednesday. And uh, Thursday is TBD. Switching uh, gears for a second. Um, your thoughts on LeBron James? Like, what are you most impressed about him and what he's been able to do at the state of his career? Um, God, there's just, I think it, it's a long... Uh, answer, um, you know, as far as what LeBron's done at his age um, for the city, uh, for the sport, and for sports in general. Um, I, it's just a credit to how he takes care of himself. I mean, I think that uh, he's a unicorn. Uh, I think physically, genetically, and also just the mindset mentality. And so, uh, there's only, those guys don't come around very often, you know, once a generation. So uh, it, it's, uh, I marvel at it. I, I think that, you know, I'm around great athletes, 
you know, every day, but to play at the level uh, that he has for two decades, uh, it's just, uh, it's really unprecedented. Do you have a favorite memory either of being there at a game watching him or uh, watching him? Like you know, I had a chance to meet him when uh, or when he was in Cleveland, and uh, we had a we had a, a little chat. Um, it was probably in 2000. 2012, probably 12 or 13, something like that. So uh, my good buddy was uh, the assistant coach there. So just seeing how physical he was, I just I didn't appreciate how big and strong he was at that time. And then uh, to see him shoot a set shot from half court essentially and watch him get above the rim is pretty pretty amazing. Yeah. Think you could D him up? Yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> no chance. I give plenty of room. Yeah, it was, with Hayward, was it on the uh, catch? The yeah, it was yeah. a sliding catch.